Hello everyone, it's Connie here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some permission handling. Now, what is a permission handler and what are we going to pretty much code in this episode? Basically, with the bots and with Discord in general, every user, or sorry, every guild member has permissions and you've got to abide by those permissions and you've got to have permissions to do stuff. So let's say if I was an admin and I wanted to ban someone, at most I would have to have the ban members permission or above. Above meaning administrator or I believe manage guild also as above band members. But what I'm getting at is pretty much what we're gonna do is on a command by command basis, we're going to check the permissions and then bot's gonna pretty much say, if you don't have the permissions, it will tell you that you need the permissions that you need. And if not, it will continue with the command and run the command for you. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add something to this validate function here, uh, which is pretty simple actually. It's just a simple two liner check. So we're gonna do options, fault perm. And this is just your default perms. Uh, for instance, like your read channel perms or your uh, send message perms. So these are just general permissions that everyone should have, but we're just going to double check that everyone has, including the bot. So the bot is going to be checked if they have these permissions as well, because it can't ex execute something in a channel or a guild unless it has the perms to do so. So that is why you should be careful when you're giving bots perms when they're joining the Discord, when they give them perms that they need. And you can always alter the perms as well when they're in the Discord. So we're just going to say you must pass default, so I can spell default perms, and we're just going to have the S in a, um, like a bracket here, because these default permissions are basically just like perms that I'm just going to put in. You can obviously add your own perms and you don't have to have it as an array either. You can have it as just a string and just provide the one. So we're going to say perms for the client at a full stop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down a line and this is where we're going to do this uh, default perms. We're going to add the default perms in with the new permissions. And then inside this, we're just going to pass options dot default perms. And then the freeze method at the end here is going to pretty much like uh, solidify the perms so they can't be modified or altered. And we're also going to have to go to this top line here and just quickly add permission. So once we have that all done here, we're actually done in this file completely. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to head on over to the config.json file. So I've actually gone ahead and just removed my token here so you don't see it. I will add it back after. But what we're going to do is we're just going to add a comma here and go to the next line. And inside here, we're just going to simply write default perm. Inside, oh, well, sorry, not inside. Basically, the value we're going to assign to this is an array. And then we're going to have send underscore messages. And then next, what we're going to do is it's going to be view underscore channel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly bring up the documentation. So if I bring up the docs on the other screen, what we can do actually is do permissions and then dot flags. And it should... Uh, is it permission flags? It just sometimes the docs can be a bit iffy. What we'll do is we'll go in here. Should be able to go here. And then, yeah, see, see what I mean? So you, as you can see here, here is all the permissions that you can obtain, assign, and all those kinds of bits and bobs. Um, these are more of like a, um extended sort of thing of what actually you see in the discord so if you go into the discord you'll see like administrator and all these other perms that you can assign um but yeah so if you want to have any other default perms you can use these ones here so like for instance if you've got a music bot you want to check if they can speak and connect to voice channels um then do so because every time a command is run it's going to pretty much check what perm uh, permissions you need um so if you by default going to need the speak perms to speak in voice channels so then do by all means add that to the default array so if we head on back over here you could literally just add a, a third parameter here and not a third parameter a third element and just um add speak well that is what we are doing in the json file here so next what we're going to do is we are going to head on over into our uh, command class and we're going to alter that so what we're going to do is we're going to simply go to the next line here and we're just going to add two new things so this is going to be the user perms and this will equal new permissions and then inside here it's just simply going to be options user options user perms you're going to add the permissions to the top here getting that you will need to have these in single quotes so it's just added this by itself because I've written in perms here. It's what IntelliSense does. It's uh, very helpful. Um, so next after this, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply freeze. Now, following on with that, we're going to add the semicolon. Otherwise, our linter is going to be very upset. And then we're going to 
actually what we'll do is we'll just simply copy and paste this uh this here as well um because it's pretty much just the same except we're just doing bot perms instead of user perms so now that that is completed what we're going to do is we're going to head on over into the message event here and I'm just going to quickly go over a few things. You'll remember these guys from, I believe, either the first episode or the second episode. I just want to apologize because there has been a few issues with this regex. Basically, I forgot a simple question mark here and here. And this basically means that now when you use the, the bot to, uh, for instance, use it as a prefix, you'll be able to use the nickname of the bot as well. Discord, although it displays it the same visually, sometimes it will be different, like on the back end of things. So adding this question mark here will allow for you to tag nicknames and just the normal, um, you know, mention. Next, you'll also notice that uh, we forgot to add a thing to check if the message content starts with a prefix, right? So we're just going to simply check the message content to see if it starts with the prefix. And if not, we're just going to return. And that will fix a ton of issues that people are having. So obviously, without this, you'll be able to use uh, basically any letter or thing that's just one letter long so you could do a and then command or like for instance you could do question mark and then command instead of your default which is your just like your normal exclamation mark or whatever you have it set as so now that that is added what we're going to do is actually just quickly remove that extra space and we're actually just going to go down here go down two lines and we're going to start off with doing the um the checks right so we're going to check for the permission so we're going to start off by doing const user perm check and this is where we're going to have a ternary operator so we're going to have command user perm question mark and then we're going to do this dot client dot default perm and then dot add and we're just going to do command dot user perm so basically what we're doing here is we're adding the default perms which we obtain from our client instance or well the basically we assign default perms to the client and we're obtaining it through that and now we're going to simply add the bit field that we are creating in here well not in here specifically but in the actual command file and we are pretty much just going to add them together so it's adding the default perms into the uh, perms that you've provided in the command and it's going to check on that once we get down below so we're just going to obviously add a false check so obviously if the command dot user perms comes up false we're going to have to have a fallback and this part is the fallback and now what we're going to do is just simply have the default perms here so if we actually go back to the uh the client class here what we're doing here is we're validating that we provided the default perms so this stops issues arising later when we for instance need to uh, set the default of user perm check to the default perms. I'm just going to go down two lines and separate them. So next on the list, what we're going to do is we're going to do user perm check. And now inside here, we're going to pretty much do const missing equals message dot channel dot permissions. If I can get there, permissions for and then message dot member. Uh, and then outside of here, it's just simply going to be missing and missing is going to be the user perm check so basically if the permissions we're providing if there's any that are required that are missing from the ones we're providing it will simply uh, say that we're missing some and we can go here and create a simple condition check and inside here what we can do is just return message dot reply and we can say so what we're doing here actually is oh I should do this sorry so it's not yeah so it's gonna say message uh, missing dot length so you want to check the length of the missing so if there is any missing it will have a length value or a number and then we can go from there so inside here you want to say you are missing and then we're going to have some um uh, it's been it's been a hardcore minute since i've coded so it's just uh template template literals yeah so it's just going to be this dot client dot utils and it's going to be format array. Now these are functions that we're going to create very shortly. I'm going to do missing dot map, and this is where we go for this dot client dot utils uh, dot format perms format. So outside of here, we're going to simply do permissions, and then say you need them to use this command. 
I hope this is still on screen for you guys. I don't know why it's saying this. Um, it's not very helpful. It's uh, pretty much just saying that we're done goofing. Um, but if we actually just quickly grab this and copy and paste it down below, we can simply go with... Um, what can we simply go with? We can just do bot perms. So bot perm check, and then we can do bot perms, bot perms, bot perms, more bot perms. And then down here, as I said, I don't know why it's doing this. It wasn't doing this before. So I, I, honestly, it, it doesn't affect the code itself. So it doesn't really matter. So as you just saw, we added a format perms function as well as a format array function so we're just going to go down two lines here and we're simply going to do format perm and then inside here we're going to have perms and we're going to do uh, return perm and now we're going to go down one more go down here and we're going to go to lowercase right next one is going to be replace and this is where we go through a couple stages of regex so just bear with me so i want to make sure that i get this 100 percent correct so we're doing a forward slash then we're doing a curly brace well not a curly brace sorry a normal brace then we're doing a up arrow a line question mark another line and underscore and then outside of here we're going to simply do a backslash an s and then outside of that we're going to do a g which global, which means global. And then we're gonna do S, and if I can go back up to that one, I'm gonna do an arrow function, and then S to uppercase. And that is a function. So, it's gonna say that this is too short, blah, 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 that is fine. Uh, we're gonna go to the next line here, and we're gonna do replace, and we're gonna do forward slash underscore forward slash G, and then we're going to pretty much re like um, replace any underscores with a space. Next line, we're going to replace yet again. And this is where we do guild. And we're going to do pretty much guild to server. So any anytime it says server, we're going to replace it with that. And we're also just going to go back up here and get rid of double quotes because we're not using double quotes. And then we're doing replace. And finally, this is uh, for use VAD, G, and then semicolon. And we're just going to do use voice activity, activity. All right, with the semicolon there. So let's quickly just uh, fix up these, fix all mistakes. And well, not mistakes. Um, it's going to continue to say this. You can uh, obviously alter this if you wish. I'm not going to. Um, and then next what we're gonna do is just simply format array We're gonna do array and then we're gonna add a type. So if the type isn't provided It's just gonna be conjunction and this is just a simple one-liner here. So we're just gonna do return uh, new I N T L uh, list format and then en dash BB outside of this we're just gonna do curly braces style and then the style is going to be short and the following that we're just going to do type as well type outside of that we're just going to do format and simply do array so there we go that is those done so now that that's done what we're going to do is we're simply going to start up the bot oh <laughs> i you know how i removed my token before yep i'm just going to quickly add it back in all right, so now that that has been added back in, we can start up the bot and it should be fine. What we're gonna do actually is, I need to obviously display this code. So I'm just gonna go into bot info and we're gonna do user perms. And we're gonna say, for instance, user perms requires uh, administrator, right? And then we could do bot perms. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm using double quotes again. It has been a minute, okay? Bear with me. Um, and then under this, we can do bot perms. And then we can, I'd, I'd say we just have administrator again. And then get rid of that trailing. Um, we are not going to be able to see, because I obviously in the Discord I own, I have administrator. 
Um, I have all the perms because I own it. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly go back into message here and we're just going to simply uh, copy this and we will just simply console log. We'll console log that variable. So let's just quickly restart the bot. So now that we have the bot started, what I'm going to do is info and we'll head on back here and it's going to provide a bit field, right? So if we bring up a uh, permission calculator, for instance, uh, let's see, I think this one. So if I add the following perms, admin, so the one that we've added in the command, view channel, as well as said messages, you'll see that it is 380. And what does it say here? 380. So that means that all the permissions have been checked. Um, for instance, if I was to do a uh, just a generic command, um, I, I'm going to just run help because I don't know uh, what the commands are anymore. Uh, you'll see that it has 3072. So if we were to bring up that permission calculator yet again uh, and just simply remove admin, you'll see that voila, it has got our default perms. Anyways, this has been Connor here from MenuDocs. I hope you're excited for the Discord.js series to return. And I hope that I have explained everything that I need to explain within this video. I'm trying to get better at making sure that I explain stuff and go through the steps with you guys. Um, obviously, I'm open to criticism. So by all means, do comment down in the comment section below telling me what you want me to do, uh, if you need me to expand on other stuff. And obviously, we do have a Discord for you guys to come in and get some assistance as well. It is discord.gg slash menudocs. We are currently a Discord partner, so that means that we have a vanity URL, or you can obviously use menudocs.link forward slash discord. Anyways, guys, this has been Connie here from Menudocs. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you